Hey, welcome everyone to the L7C podcast. We're here again with El Capitan Byron Mitchell. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. And before we start with this episode, we haven't had a chance to say it on our podcast or our L7C social media. Uh, just rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman, uh, aka the Black Panther. We are going to be talking some Marvels. Avenger the video game so we just had to start that off with that because it's a big loss not only to the MCU but to the world as a whole yes rest in peace Wakanda forever Wakanda forever baby but yeah we're here we're talking Marvel's Avengers the video game that finally dropped this past Friday or if you got the early access it was this Tuesday uh me and Byron both top the game so we're going to be talking about how we feel about it what we like what we're looking forward to in the future and so forth and just to give a um brief summary of marvel's avengers the game this game was teased all the way back in 2017 if you remember byron that little youtube video that marvel dropped yep oh and, and i think they had something at e3 that year too about mm-hmm. about it Mm-hmm. It was just those little teases, and then we didn't get anything else until 2019's E3, where we finally got a trailer, like a full trailer, and we're like, okay, okay. And then from there, we got uh, we got to see the prologue, A Day, um, the very the first mission that you have, and then we've gotten more and more trailers. It was actually supposed to drop in May, but they pushed it back to September. It could have been the fine tune of the game. It could have been the coronavirus. And like we said, the game is out now. And Byron, what, do you, what are you thinking about it, man? Early impressions. Um, I am halfway through the game, I believe. I am enjoying it very, very much so far. Mm-hmm. The story is good. Um, like the, I'm a good, I'm a big story kind of driven kind of game kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so when it first started, you just introduce introduced to Kamala Khan and like her father and just like their interaction um, between those two, I think was a nice touch. And I think I was drawn in as soon as the game started. Right, right. Well, I actually finished the campaign Saturday night. Okay. Um, yeah, because I got the early access Tuesday and I was playing that game after work to at least one, two in the morning every day um, because I was just so hooked into the story of reassembling the Avengers, um, finding out the truth behind what happened on A-Day. And just overall, I just really, really liked it. Um, Story, because you're halfway, it, it gets better and better. Okay. The fighting with the groups of four, I mean, I just think that's really sweet because that's, I mean, that's how the Avengers fight. I mean, yes. It's a team. So you're there side to side with whoever is on your team beating up some AIM robots and like all the uh, heroes. They really paid great attention to detail about the heroes' characteristics and their um, skill set. Like Kamala's like uh, getting big stretching and then uh, Hulk's raging. And then you have Iron Man now, right? Uh, I have Black Widow. I'm oh, you have Iron Man and Black Widow's yes. sweet invisibility move. Yes. And if you haven't and you haven't played with with your team yet, have you? Um yes, I how do I say this without giving spoilers away? I did the mission mm-hmm. um after you're on the helicarrier fighting mm-hmm. like those robots, I did the mission after that we have to fight that big giant robot that's attacking the um dr pen space got you got you yeah and like it's all about teamwork and like i've been seeing where i'm at in the game it's like black widow's invisibility if you're with your group it makes everyone invisible yes and i that's i think that was a nice touch like that's sweet and then even further down the line when you get thor he has an ability that can make everyone have like god's lightning Oh, wow. Yeah, like, so I've been able to mix that, and I've done his and Black Widows at the same time. And, like, you have Captain America, 
where you don't get him in the story because he's dead. Um, so oh, okay, thank. <laughs> so, so he's actually dead. Dead. Okay. People who saw the trailers, Captain America uh, dies in the A Day in the A Day thing, and you'll get when you beat the story, you'll see what happened to him and his final moments and things like that. And then, but he's he's sweet because when you do get to play with him a little bit. You get to do the Avengers assemble rallying cry and it buffs everybody up. Wow. So I like that. So those are like the and they work all well together. And then you guys know that we are heavy on the Shinobi strikers. So it almost reminds me of that, to be honest, especially the groups of four. And then we got Byron on, and he is the healer of the team. And Kamala Khan's move. Is healing. Yep. Oh, I'm so like, I'll probably be rocking her in co-op. <laughs> I saw her and I was like doing that healing. I was like, oh man, healing cannot escape Byron, whatever game that we're uh we're in right now. What do you think of the uh landscape of the game? I think it looks really good. I think it looks a lot better than like it's progressed from when they were showing it like at E3 and all that stuff. Yes. But what do you think? Uh I think the graphics are amazing like the mm-hmm. facial expressions like when the mm-hmm. characters are talking and the just a uh, area in general is just beautiful like mm-hmm. i think it was the first mission where you um play as hawk and kamala khan there's like yeah. this cliff area and just stare at the cliff for like five minutes just like the background of like the mountains and the lake it's just this beautiful so i just like sat there and took in the view for like five minutes and then started being a aim robot <laughs> yeah and even when you because yes kamala she is the young girl who went to uh a day because she is a big avengers um fan girl she gets to meet some of them there because she entered a contest before everything just hits the fan um it's there's some great dialogue with her and some of the avengers um especially her and captain america when she's little and he's like oh you're a captain marvel fan uh-huh. Like she would have loved to meet you, but she's currently off world. And we're just like, oh my God, even in the video game and movies, Captain Marvel is always off world. Off world. But them confirming her, though, that makes me think she's going to be a DLC character down the line. Yeah. So that's with that. And then come out. And then the Avengers, they break up because they're blamed for what happened on A Day without going too much into it. And it's Kamala, who's this little, now a teenager because it's been five years. Oh. And she's the one who has to bring the Avengers back together to fight uh, this new evil, which is AIM. So, and then, like you said, you go, you get Hulk back, you get Iron Man back, Black Widow, and Thor, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. And I think that AIM being the bad guys of this game was a very smart move because it differentiates it from the what everyone knows now, the MCU. Because AIM hasn't been in the MCU yet. So no. no what did you not. think about that? Like, them going with this villain instead of just doing the MCU route, Loki, then blah, 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 and then Thanos, and yada, yada. I like that they took it this route because um, you're introduced to characters that you haven't seen in Marvel movies before. Mm-hmm. Um, like, the first boss you fight is against Taskmaster, um, yep. which he will be in the upcoming Black Widow movie. Yes. Um but I think I don't just like how they took it a different round, just introduce you to more comic book characters like AIM and uh, George Tarleton. Mm-hmm. I think it was a, a nice touch. Yeah. And I think AIM is definitely going to be in the future of the MCU. They have that avenue, but this is going to be a lot of people's first time experiencing AIM, experiencing MODOK. Yep. I haven't read the comics. So I think it was a good, good bad guy to have. And I mean, even like you brought up the beginning with Taskmaster, you fight him in the A Day prologue, and like before that, you fight each Avenger in like their strength. Uh-huh. So like you start off with Thor clearing the path. You have Iron Man flying, blasting people from the sky. Hulk doing his thing. Captain America doing his thing. Black Widow doing his thing. It's a real like Avengers experience because you see how each of them, who are so different in skill set and all that stuff, really mesh well together in certain uh situations i like how they introduce like the characters at first where like mm-hmm. you're doing each like on the first mission which is the a day um attack um you're controlling each character and you just like 
they're like their move sets are so different from each other that it feels like you're playing a new character. Like you're actually being Thor. Like you throw his hammer and have his hammer stick to people, and then like hand to hand combat, just give somebody hands, call a hammer back, and then hit somebody with a hammer. Oh, it's just yes. fantastic. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's you're really fighting as them, and then even like Iron Man, you're flying, hitting the repulsor blast, uh-huh. and doing the flying too, doing all that, stopping on a dime, swivering past the blast, hitting him with a repulsor, with a laser, with a missile. You got the Unibeam EMP. Uh-huh. You even when you get further down the line, you get the Hulk Buster. So yes, that is, and that's his ultimate. That's really sweet as well. And then with Black Widow. You got making everyone invisible. You got the widow's vice is basically a big electric sting. And then she has the thing when she puts the two uh, sticks together and just goes ape wild and just shows you all her martial arts things just beating you down. I mean, they're all super sweet. So with the people you've played with right now, who is your favorite character and who are you going to be maining when me and you go on uh, war zones together? I'll probably main Kamala. Okay. For Warzone, um, again because of the healing factor. Mm-hmm. But my favorite so far is probably Black Widow. Mm. Mm. And that, and yeah, I've been playing with her um, today, and like I, I really enjoy playing with her and Kamala from the aspect of when you're doing like the terrains. Like uh, with the grappling, because Kamal can do it with her hand, and she has a yep. great look. So it kind of goes back to the Batman Arkham days of uh, grappling around. But for me personally, I mean, I like them all too. But right, I, man, Thor, Thor is something. Yeah, I've only got to play with Thor that one mission, so I haven't. You're just gonna have to wait till later on, like. I think the satisfaction of when you throw a hammer at somebody and it sticks on them and you can be fighting yeah. somewhere else and call it back to you. I think that I think that's fantastic. I don't know. I'm liking I'm liking Thor a lot. Um sometimes too, I think the most satisfying ultimate for me is the Hulk's thunderclap. Yes. Just clear a path. <laughs> Cause when you get fed up and you just hit that big clap, and it's just like Ooh, it feels good. And then we know going down the line, the DLC is going to be free with uh, the characters coming in. Uh, we do know uh, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye's Apprentice, and Hawkeye are going to be the first DLC out in October, which I can't wait. I wish it was tomorrow. Um, right. And then we do know that Black Panther will be in the game. Uh, it was both you and I suspicion at the last war table. They actually would have unveiled him if it wasn't for Chadwick's passing because they wanted to be respectful. Uh-huh. So they did show his logo. So we know he's coming. We know in 2021, for the PlayStation users, I'm sorry, it's the deal with Sony, we get Spider Man. Yes. We get an extra person too. And I'm so interested to see like all the different characters they're going to be bringing in. So with those characters now, if you could pick the next four who you would want to bring in, who would it be? The next four. Well, Scratch, we already know Captain Marvel's coming. Well, we yeah. assume 90% because her poster is all over Kamala's room. So they're probably going to have her just for Kamala and her mm-hmm. fandom. If I could choose, I definitely would want either Doctor Strange or Scarlet Witch mm-hmm. just to see how they do with their like magical powers. Yeah, I think that would be um, interesting to see. I think Ant Man. I know they have Doctor Hank Pym in it, but I think if they put like Scott Lang in it, mm-hmm. um, to see how they you know do with the size, because with Kamala, her ultimate, she can get big. Mm-hmm. But I think it would be neat if they did like with Ant Man, like he can get small and then like get super strong. I think that would be neat to see. Um, yeah, Ant Man, Ant Man, as you already said, is in this game. It's just AIM did him real dirty, so he can't be Ant Man anymore, which is terrible what they did to him. But I have to play the game to find out what they did. It just can't be Ant Man anymore. So Ant Man, Scarlet Witch, Doctor, we already, we are assuming 
Captain Marvel's going to be. And I feel like she has to. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would like Doctor Strange just to see if we can uh, go through like the dimensions and all that type of stuff. And I hope they bring this with Captain Marvel because the only reason I'm going to say this next group is because of space. If we got the Guardians. Oh, yeah. So then we could go to space and do some missions in space. That would be wild. That would be dope. So them, and then I don't know who I would want. I mean, we're already getting Spider-Man. He would have been the top. And we're getting him. So I don't know what type, like, do, do we want? I mean, Rhodey's always nice. But I don't know. He doesn't really bring any more ex, like, exploring. We're getting Black Panther. We're 90% sure. So we're going to get Wakanda, which is going to be dope. Um, so I, I don't know. It's just like you think of that roster and the people we're already getting. I'm assuming we might get maybe Falcon. Maybe. Falcon. I wonder if we're getting Bucky. Or we get Bucky too to a Winter Soldier story with a cap. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of possibilities. When you look at the Avengers and who they can bring in and they want to explore more worlds because they want to update this game for like ever, ever, as long as they can. So that's going to be super cool. And then after AIM, what villains would you want to see in the game? I don't want maybe Thanos, even though he I feel in the like MCU. He, I think he would be I think he'd be like a last last person. I don't want to name MCU villains, but I feel like they would be easy, like Loki. How, uh, I would like to see what is that Hulk villain? Well, we got Abomination. Which, that did. was a great boss fight. Great boss fight. I think his name is Mind Reader. Oh, the leader? The leader, yeah. I think that would be cool if they added him as another Hulk villain. Mm -hmm. If they do Spider Man, probably Vil uh, Venom. Mm, yeah. Baron Mordo for Doctor Strange, if they had him. Okay. Yeah, I think with the villain, there's so much they can do, and they, they went with aim, so it's not like they're not copying anything that's out now, which is... Right. But, I mean, I feel like with this type of game and the stakes, I feel like a crazy Ultron would be in the works. Mm. Like, mm. like a, and they could even spin it just like the MCU spin to that Tony and Banner created Ultron, they can say that Ultron was created in the back pocket of AIM just in case they go down. That, yeah. Like, they can do stuff like that. Obviously, with Thor in it, there's a Loki thing. There, Loki mm -hmm. off his face. That'd be great, too, that so we can go fight in Asgard. And then you think of people like Red Skull, um, all of those... And then obviously Thanos, but then with this being a big Marvel's game, and hopefully they have the license to use all the characters, we can get things like Galactus and the Kree and things of that uh, nature. So I guess with comparing this game to, I guess, the last superhero game for Marvel, which was Spider-Man, and then even comparing it to like DC, which the last DC game like this was like Arkham Knight. And like yeah. me personally, before Spider-Man, I've been craving a Marvel game like the Arkham series. It doesn't have to be the same, but a game where you're walking around with your Avengers, you're beating people up, there's a story, there's customization. Like I've been craving for these games. I feel like with Marvel Spider-Man, then Avengers, and then Marvel Spider-Man next year, they're finally on the right path of those type of games trying to catch yes. Arkham type games. What do you think? I enjoyed very like I said, I've enjoyed this game so far. I'm glad they took this game in this direction. Mm -hmm. Uh because I think it was needed um for Marvel to have a game like this because they did have um the Marvel Spider Man, which was a great game, by yeah. the way. Yes. Uh loved every minute. The story mm -hmm. is great. The character development between Peter Parker and Mary Jane. Um, so I think they needed another game like that to keep going in the good direction they were going. Um, so I'm glad that they have this product out. Um, so I hope they continue to build um, 
on not either, only Spider Man's success, but this game's success as well. Because I know after the like the story, there's going to be like a lot of Avengers Initiative content coming. Yeah, that's where um, I've been in, man. I'm waiting for you. I'll, I'll be done with this probably <laughs> in the next couple of days. But uh, yeah, I completely agree with what you just said. And when Spider Man comes in 2021, it's going to be very interesting if it's the same spider-man from the marvel spider-man game yes I I said it's now because it was a different company but if you played marvel spider-man and when you go to avengers tower spider-man says that they're on the west coast right now and where are the avengers on a day on the west, west coast. coast so we're gonna if it's the same one then marvel spider-man might have built their cinema like their video game universe which is would be good to have a like a comic book universe. I know DC um, did it with Arkham, yeah, and they're going to do it with uh, the upcoming Suicide Squad game. So they're kind of building their own video game universe. I think Marvel um, should do it as well. Yeah, man, and like with this game, playing this, then seeing the small things we've seen from a. Uh, Gotham Knights when it got unveiled at DC Fandom, I feel like they could almost be very similar. Like, you got four in yep. Gotham Knights, and then you got the four that you could go in a team with there. We don't know about online in Gotham Knights yet. Jing just got revealed in our last podcast that me and you did. Yep. So, like, and then just seeing the way they're fighting and then seeing how Marvel's Avengers is fighting, I'm like, oh my gosh, is this like the same? Is this the same thing, just different? Characters will be very interesting to see how they play. Then Mar and then Suicide Squad. We won't even get to see till twenty twenty two. So we Which have I long, heard about. <laughs> yeah, we have a long way. That's like they have, they could be at two e threes before the game gets really true. So that that's crazy. But no, I'm really interested to see how they compare because that's what I mean. That's just what people are going to compare. Yeah. To I think the only thing I guess I have with Avengers, which I'm fine with, but some other people are just like, oh, we need bigger open world. Is that the only place you can just, like, casually walk around is, like, the Helicarrier or, like, uh, the Ant-Man's place? Yeah. And, I mean, you can, like, when you do missions, you don't have to go to the objective right away. You can explore the terrain. Uh -huh. all that stuff. I think people wanted a more, like, open world, like, dealing with citizens, like, talking to them just like you did in Marvel Spider-Man, because that's the thing that the Arkham series lacked, is like everyone was gone except the criminals. Yep. But I will say in Marvel's Avengers defense that they're doing a lot better than Arkham Knight, because once Arkham Knight's done, you, uh, you're you just there. You're just beating up random people in the street. Marvel's Avengers, they're constantly refreshing new missions. Which, uh -huh. so you always have something to do. It's almost like Injustice 2, where they're like, okay, on this day you have this mission, then we're going to refresh. So it keeps the content fresh. And that's something Arkham Knight lacked, and hopefully Gotham Knights will have that, just comparing the different um, games. There's anything in the game right now that you would want to improve? Like, if you could have, or something like that? I think I would, for me personally, I don't really get into the, like, the loot system. Yeah. Because it, it, I mean, it, any game with loot system just confuses me. Like, mm -hmm. so there's there's an option where you can just like hold L two and equip your best loot. So I've been doing that without even. I didn't loot. know that was an option, and I beat the story. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like if you get like new loot, um, and you go into your gear menu, um, if you hold, I think it's a L, I think it's L two, um, you'll equip your best gear. So I've been doing that because. So I think I would. Like if they had to explain, I guess the loot system better. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that, that would be my one. And there's like some other stuff that they really didn't explain. I guess they kind of just left you to figure out like challenge cards. Like I don't understand how you unlock those. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think they should have done a better job of explaining those as well. Yeah, with the loot thing, loot. Things are so hard every time because it's like no matter what game you're trying to get like certain pieces and then the game's just like nope you're gonna get this piece 
because mm-hmm. we do. I mean, <laughs> that's what we deal with in Shinobi Strikers. Yeah, have, have to deal with an injustice too. Oh, you're just grinding for hours, just hoping a piece randomly drops. Where in other cases, you just would rather just grind for hours, get the in-game currency that they're using, and just go buy the piece you want. But, yeah. But yeah, I mean, those are things. Hopefully they explain them uh, better, better in the future. And I think currently where you're at right now, what would you say your favorite scene is? Not going too much into spoilers. Favorite scene? Even um, though we got the game on Tuesday and there were people who already beat the game by Monday. <laughs> the super early access to right from all those streamers my favorite scene so far i really like the scene um between hulk and tony yep um when you when they first when you yep. first like start recruiting tony and just like their interaction was mm-hmm. like because tony blames hulk for what how the avengers got disbanded and then mm-hmm. Hulk blames the Avengers for everything that's happened. So it's kind of, I think it's a neat dialogue that they have um, when you they first interact with each other. Yeah, I think personally that is my favorite scene. Like, I was actually re-watching that scene on YouTube today because, like, the because I know at the beginning, too, some people are like, who are these voice actors playing the Avengers? Because everyone's huh. so ingratiated in their heads of RDJ and yep. Polo and all of them. Even though the Avengers have had voices in all the other video games, the current cartoon shows, so it's like, it's the same, like, people. And, like, Troy Baker, I mean, as Bruce Banner, I mean, the dude, just the video game goat, in my opinion. Like, that guy, yes. he's played everybody in every video game series. And then um, Noah North, who is the voice actor for Iron, Iron Man, he's in everything as well. So I think those two just just can create a powerful scene, which they did. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Because mm-hmm. we saw clips of that scene in the previews of trailers where Tony's like, the Avengers pose a threat to society. That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. And we see the full... Thing and the argument and the passion you're like oh i'm like watching an mcu movie like this is real like mm-hmm. it, it's not and it's not roses right now and then you just have this little teenage girl who's the one like standing in between like what's going on <laughs> trying to calm everything down trying to bruce is saying that they failed and then tony's like no we failed him mm. america because they let him die that day mm-hmm. so it's like oh man this is this is something else and like and that's early yeah yeah. later in the game you're just like oh my goodness this is this game is like what is also i think uh, another close second is the scene after you do the um the hella carrier mission Mm -hmm. and it's just like chaos between all the avengers Mm -hmm. and you just have at the end you just have kamal like all alone Oh, and I think that's an, a, another powerful thing too. Oh my gosh, yes! Because Black Widow's talking to Thor, saying, "Where were you when the world went to hell? You just left." Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> because Thor, Thor doesn't pick up his hammer in five years. He actually leaves it at the memorial statue of Captain America. So it's like he doesn't, and that's the only reason that statue doesn't get teared down because Thor's hammer is there. So it's like he left. Black Widow was doing Black Widow things, and Mm -hmm. they just all just go at each other, because, and they're all, I mean, even with the five years, all of them are blaming each other and themselves for what happened to their leader. Mm -hmm. Because he died on that day, and they're all just like, if it wasn't for you, if it was this, 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 and then you have Kamala, who witnessed that event five years ago when she was little, and now a grown teenager, just trying to bring these veteran superheroes together and it's just that's a very good scene you see all rage out on tony tony like in the um in age of ultron calls the uh, hulk buster arm to him yep punch hulk and you're like oh it's the it's age of ultron all over again and that fight and you're just like man this they put some effort in this game but 
like I like when I first saw this game get unveiled with that trailer in 2017. Once I knew Square Enix was in, I was like, I already know the story is going to be good. Oh yeah, because they've done Kingdom Hearts, yeah. all yes. the Kingdom Hearts game and all the Kingdom Hearts game are mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah, so I was like, the story's not going to be bad. They do Kingdom Hearts. More importantly, they do Final Fantasy story. Right. Like, <laughs> Once I saw them, I was like, oh, I know the story. It's going to be shot in cinematic. It's going to be some very, very powerful, very powerful stuff. But that's really. All I got for Marvel's Avengers, I can't wait for you to finish it. Once you're there, then we're going to be live streaming some content of it on the L7C YouTube. Me and the Capitan going to be doing some more missions to get. Oh, it's going to no, be I can't great. wait. I can't either because, man, I'll tell you what. I don't know about you, but when you're doing those base, um, missions where you either have to get a B C or protect A B C. Yes, and it's the computer, and you and if you're just like, no, you go there, protect it for as long as you can. I go here, or you come with me. Like you could do that with people, but computer, that's one thing I wish they could change on the D pad. If you had directions like, hey, spread out, or all stick. Uh-huh. With, that's something I wish they had. Because man, playing with the computer on those missions, I actually dread. I also I understand why they didn't. But I would have liked an option, like, if you're, say, you're just alone with a computer, um, Mm -hmm. I wish there was a way you can, like, change Avengers. Because there's, like, sometimes where, like, I'm low on health, I was like, man, I wish Kamala was over here to heal me, but she's, like, over left field. Yes. Battling, I'm like, okay, I'm about to die. Because there's no health around, Mm -hmm. Kamala's not here. So I wish there was a way you could either, like, like you said, either call them towards you, or, like, you could switch to them and use their abilities, but... Oh, I know that's man. When it's like, oh, you need to get to those terminals for Jarvis. I'm like, sweet, help me, please help mm-hmm. me. <laughs> so I, like, I go to A, and they're all just fighting in the middle while they're taking B and C. They're killing everybody, but we're still gonna lose. That sucks. Yeah, but I can't wait to do that with you. So at least if it's just the two of us, at least that's two people. We have two computers, so we actually know what we're doing. Uh huh. So I, I can't wait for that. I mean, from I mean, that's just this is probably the last game. I mean, when I mapped it out early 2020, this was gonna be the last game I got um for the year. And I mean, the way that it is right now, I'm gonna be playing this for a long, long time, especially when our king comes and we get to go to Wakanda. Oh. Cause then I'm gonna have to work on my rotation of who I wanna be. Yep. I think for now, I'm going to switch between Kamala and maybe Black Widow. Black Widow's just so much fun. Yeah. Like, and I know people are like, oh, how are you going to be fun with her? And she's a human. I was like, listen, they're going to give her her best abilities. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that when you do some teamwork and you can all just get near her and become invisible when she hits and you just beat people down and she has guns, she has pistols. She has pistols. She can get a rifle. I mean, come on. It's mm-hmm. they they really put a lot of effort into using every skill these people have learned. Yep. And even though I didn't, I didn't really talk about I mean, flying is Iron Man. <laughs> that first mission where you fly around as Iron Man, I was like, Yeah, okay, this game is this game might be my number one game of twenty twenty. The fact, the fact is, when I'm flying as Iron Man, I don't know if you said the line. I had to say the line. I am Iron Man. I had mm-hmm. to do it. I had to do it because I was flying, then spinning Plast Blast, shooting yep. my own repulsors. I was like, oh my gosh, I am Iron Man. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Like you said, I'm going to be playing this game for a while. It's definitely going to be in my rotation weekly. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, when we get off, I'm going to be hopping right back on <laughs> for a little bit before I go to sleep. But do you have anything else you want to say about the game? I mean, like I already said, we're going to be on L7C, on the YouTube, playing it. Once you beat the game, doing some missions together, it's, it's going to be very, if you've watched the Striker stuff, it's going to be very entertaining, just like those things. Um, so between you and me, I know I played the beta. I don't really notice any major differences between like the beta and the finished product. I know like 
I've heard like reviews were like, oh, the beta is terrible. And, but I didn't find the beta terrible. And I'm, like, you know, in the beta, you could do like a couple story missions and mm-hmm. um, with Kamala and Hulk. Um, but I think the product was great. Um, can't wait to see what's next. Yeah, when I pre ordered that's so I was like, Oh, you can finally get the beta. I was like, Well, I'm getting the game in two days. So I was like, There's no point. And then when you told me where the beta ends to where how much story is left after that, I'm like uh-huh. I'm like, okay, I mean and the final the final story final boss fight, yeah, man, it, it it's crazy. It's oh, I can't wait. It's Avengers level threat. Oh movie, yes. Movie quality. And I will have to say this is not a part of the MCU, but after you beat the game, there's MCU things, and you know what that means: post-credit scenes. Do without spoilers, would you say there is a potential for a sequel? Oh, I mean, it depends because they said they want to keep updating this game. The sequel might be in the game, like, yeah, okay, what's going on next? But oh, absolutely, there. <laughs> It is typical Marvel fashion. After you think you've done it, there's two post credit scenes. You're like, wait, how did this person become this? And why did this person go up to... Where'd they go? What? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to complete this game this week. Yeah, it, it, it's wild, man. But that's all I got to say on Marvel's Avengers. If you're a video game person or if you love Marvel, check it out. Definitely, I definitely check it out. Definitely check it out, David. I would give it a nine out of ten. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just I I can't put it down. And even if you don't play video games, just be one of those people who just type in Marvel's Avengers full cutscene story and just watch it on YouTube, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, this is movie quality." I was thinking that while I was playing, like some of the cutscenes are like this whole story. Probably they could probably have made it into a movie, and it would have done well. This could have been this could have been a version of the MCU where they I mean it's they get there together we don't see them like prior to them being like broken up besides a day so they're together they break up one person has to bring them back together it's almost MCU story line type deal I mean this could have been an MCU in a different like if they went a different direction mhm so I mean just check it out guys it it's it's great. Uh, rating wise, uh, I think I would also give it a nine out of ten. I think I would even go higher, but I still the loot. I mean, loot just always ruins some stuff. But give it a nine. I always save that one point because I want to see what this DLC really does, and we get that yep. coming. So we'll see. But thank you everyone for listening to the L Seven C podcast, Martin. Uh, Captain Byron Mitchell, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care. Bye, everyone. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.